Well, we are in our new warehouse, and this is the lobby area, which really is going to be a showroom where we'll be doing videos, but also it will be chock-a-block with tanks. We're going to be filling this. This is a three-foot tank, three by two by 18. Three by 18 by 18. It's a 54 pallet tank. We have prepared more dirt than we need. That's three bags of 20 gallon dirt. If you look in the product list, there is a 20 gallon bag of, of dirt and there's a 55 gallon bag of dirt. The difference between the two is precisely double the footprint. The 20 gallon bag can be used for a 10 gallon tank or a 20 tall. It can be used for a 20 long. It's a little bit short, but if the dirt layer is a quarter of an inch less than a full inch, it really doesn't make any difference. You're better off with the soil level being a little under rather than a little over for tanks under 55 gallons. So this is slightly more than 50 gallons, but we're going to treat it as a 55 gallon tank. What that means is it's going to get two bags, two three pound bags of soil. I've got three in here. So I'm going to, I'm going to roughly estimate two thirds. Let's start by putting the dirt in because that's what most people are going to do. And then we'll add water to it and get it uh, turned into mud. Let's let's see. We're going to do two thirds of this. The reason I made up extra dirt was I had in my brain that this was a uh, seventy-five gallon tank, but it's not. Okay, that's about right. Now, spreading this out. It is less than an inch, but it's 50% peat moss, and peat moss expands in water. So once we get water in here, we're going to make it uh, deeper. Now, this is chlorinated water. Um, I'm not worried about it because the chlorine gas is all. I never use any kind of chlorinator. It's really not needed. If you have chloramine, which means you have both ammonia and chlorine in the water, which creates what's called a chloramine molecule. It's a liquid. Ammonia is gas, chlorine is gas. That is, they both gas off. If you not mix them together, they don't gas off. They act like water. They will evaporate, but very slowly. So you need to break the bond in order to be able... Okay. So I've got a fair amount of water in here, and it is soupy. I just put a little more dirt in. I'm patting it down just to make sure this dry stuff is getting water. And you can see it's already becoming like gelatinous. So by letting it sit for a while, it's going to set up even better so that when we put the sand on, the sand will sit on top of it and not sink into it. That's the critical thing. Uh, now you'll notice there's dirt around the edges. It's important to get rid of that. So I'm just going to use a tiny bit of water because if we put the sand in with this dirt sitting on the sides like that, it's going to show. So we're good. We're just going to let this sit and get back to it after it's soaked in good. It's a little spongy. I think we're going to need the vacuum in here. It's soaking up moisture, but it's not sinking. So that's perfect.
I've got like 75 pounds of brand in here. It should be 50 pounds. This is, um, this is guesstimation work. If it's within the ballpark, you're in good shape. So I've got an inch or so of sand in the bottom, I mean dirt in the bottom, and I've got two, a little more than two inches of sand on top. You want it to be level. You cannot grade it because it'll, it'll fall back down. The only way to grade it is to use baffles to put something in there like a wall to hold it so it's higher than what's in front of it. And that works fine. I mean, if you want that kind of a, a contour, you can do it, but you're not going to be able to do it just by laying the sand in. You can use rocks. It's not as effective. Okay, we're going to start filling this. You want the tub? So the idea of the dirt is to provide, it's kind of seasoning. Think of it as seasoning. Don't think of it as the, as the main dish. It is what you put around the main dish. So the soil, while it's a critical part, it's not a substantial part. What is substantial is the sand. That soil will rise up within weeks. You'll see it rising up in the sand and it'll come up about halfway. Having the sand deeper is keeping the dirt from being able to migrate out of the, the sand, which you don't want because that messes up the water. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to fill the tank and put some plants in it and put a cover on it and a light on it. I've got to hang on the back. I might just hook that up because it's immediately available. I don't have a pump. We've got the heater working. These are the plants that you receive from Father Fish. There are 16 species of stem plant. A stem plant, it's a plant that grows not from a single root ball or not from a root crown, but from the nodes. It sends, it has nodes running up the whole length of the plant and roots will come out of all of those nodes. So when they are collected, they have plants two feet long and they cut the top six inches off and bunch them. about all of these plants is that your tank is not going to love them all. It may love 75%, it may love 90%. It certainly will love more than 50%, but there may be some plants that just aren't going to make it. Uh, but that, what that'll do is show you the kinds of plants that are going to work for you in your tank. And the reality is that in three months time, that same plant could do extremely well. It's just a matter of where the condition of the water and the sub substrate is at any given moment in time. So this is going to be exactly what we just put in. It's there may be one or two different. We order 20 species of plants. You get 16 of the 20. The list is published so you know what the total list is. And to know specifically what you're getting, you're going to have to compare them. Let's see, you've got a baby pierce down here. We'll try to keep some of these together. They do better when they're by the species. There's the Kodamba. Got some of these. With the hard stem plant, we can just kind of stick them down in there. I'm basically pushing them in with my thumb. If it's a hard stem plant, you can just push it straight in, like this one. That's a real hard stem plant, so I'm just going to push it straight down in. Now you notice I'm bunching them, so it's, it's going to look fuller and 
the plants will grow fuller. They'll do better in groups rather than spreading them all out. We can fill it up with water, I guess, Brandon. Day two. Water is slightly cloudy. The light is not there. That's a little better. Added a few pieces of driftwood. Temperature is at about 78. Plants look like they did not suffer from that cold. We'll see. So far, they look okay. So, this is um, this is day two of the new tank. We'll we'll pop in occasionally, show it in streams. I will be moving my streams over here, uh, probably starting next week. So, we'll be in uh, we'll be in the new the new laboratory. Ah. Thanks for plugging in. Enjoy having you here and enjoy doing these. Uh, this is going to be a great room. We're, we're going to have lots and lots and lots of tanks. We've got a few already. Uh, some sitting around waiting to be filled. Others coming in. We have a, a 140 that will be coming in uh, probably this weekend. Uh, and looking to eventually have the, the balls full of fish things. So, bye for now. Love you all.